again. We're in the section number two, fine arts building. And uh, we'll start with roll call. Again, have all the board members that are present uh, recite your name for the record. Ricardo Alberto Ruiz, present. Frank Castillo, present. Ricardo Medina, present. Javier Montemayor, present. And Ramiro Valle III, present. All right, so time 609, uh, open public hearing. I didn't advise that we move a motion, but we need a motion. Okay, so motion to move a motion to approve. Mr. second. Uh, all those in favor to open public hearings? Aye. 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 I'll suppose on the motion passes opening public hearings. We're going to do overview of school first. Yes, good evening, board good evening, members. Uh, we're bringing to you our school first uh, report. Uh, these were numbers as of August 31st, 2020. Um, we did advertise as required in the local newspaper. And I think I want to uh, go ahead, Mr. Okay. The, the rating that we got as a district is above standard. If you go to page two, the next slide, please. Above standard is considered a B, and it's for uh, points that are 80 to 89 points. Uh, we received a total of 88 points. And I'll just explain real quickly where we kind of were lacking. In the next slide, critical indicators, we passed all of them. You don't get any points, but you have to pass them. They're about your audit, they're about certain things that as a district you need to pass. We did pass all five. On solvency indicator, it's just exactly what it says. It wants to know how solvent your district is financially. And where we're kind of falling short is in our current assets, which has to do with cash. And in talking with Sam, we looked at these numbers. And the past two, three years, we've been short on this one because of the cash that's gone out to build the pool. So as a district, uh, I, don't, I know if y'all remember, we awarded $18 million to the pool. And we used our um, Web County School Land money, which was about $8 million. And the board gave us the authority to use 10 million of our own cash to finish the pool. Now we'll keep continuing to get Web County payments every year. So hopefully that will help our cash situation. But so cash is one of the, big, the biggest fields in this indicator. Um, and in the financial co uh, competency indicator, we got all the 20 points in that section. The other thing in the solvency indicator, because we issued so much debt in such a short time, we issued over $408 million of liabilities. Our assets had trouble catching up. This is all the buildings we needed to make when you book them as assets. And so there was kind of like a time lapse. And we think that indicator also will start catching up. It's uh, indicator number, <clears throat> if you go to page six, it's indicator number 11. <clears throat> It's called, uh, what's the ratio of long-term liabilities to total assets for the district's efficient uh, see, to support long-term solvency. So as you know, we make between 31 to $33 million in debt payments every year. So that'll make our debt go down. So that should help that indicator. So in looking at our numbers for next year, we think we might recover two of those uh, points that we lost in that section. We think we might end up at eight out of 10. And then those will be the two points. Hopefully next year they'll get us to the ninth. So we'll be looking at that very carefully. We're trying to be conservative, but still meet our district needs. And uh, again, uh, so this was a rating for us this year. So we take cash, uh, cash on hand? Cash on hand on August 31st. So does that be our, our general? It's, it's general fund. And in talking with Sam again, right? Well, where we kind of also as a district, 
The government always owes us money on August 31st. It's called a receivable, unfortunately. And you know that receivable is 100% collectible. We can't, cap, we can't count that as a current, like a cash in that particular indicator because you don't have it on hand. So we might talk to TEA and say maybe they should start counting like the due from TEA, uh, due, for, due from for our, our grants, et cetera. That maybe they should count that due from because it's almost like cash in the bank just that they haven't sent it yet. What, what are we required to have in the general fund uh, as emergency relief or? or uh, for our fund balance, we're, we're supposed to have, uh, that's more of a, it's an indicator that says you have to have so much in your fund balance. Uh, I think they want to see something like 60 days. Okay. So we always try to calculate. Now, they will tell you you have to, but in our own fund balance policy, we say we need one month's operation. Okay. So, you know, it's so we're time. good. So we're good there. Yes, yeah, we're, we're good for the, for the one month operation, but at the same time, TA sends us mixed messages saying you have too much in your fund balance. Legislators, every every time they meet, they want to start looking at our fund balances cut, throughout the state. Yes, and say we have too much. But honestly, I think we've been very efficient considering the projects that we've done from our general fund. So um, if you have any more questions, um, feel free. I know it's a lot of numbers, but we, we're keeping an eye on it. Well, we thank you for the for the information and you know it's a, a team effort by a lot of individuals thank you. from all the different thank departments. You, thank you. Now I'll let you know the tax office, uh, business office, chief staff is purchasing everything. Thank you. Grants. Yes. All right. Do we have any uh, we got the rating, do we have any public comments? Not at this time, sir. Not this one. Okay. All right, so with that we need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, second. A second. All those who are to adjourn, six sixteen PM. Aye. 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 Aye